raindrops. Drip. Drop top, drop top. Smoking no cooking the hot box. Cooking. Fucking on your bitch, yeah, that, that, that. Cooking up dope in the crock pot. pot. Oh, by the way, guys, just before this video starts, I know that we are late to the party about talking to this, but we have made this video like 20 times and I've deleted it that many times because I don't know, this subject just makes me feel really angry. Like, like I've told Deadshot, like, I'm, I'm going to upload it and then I'll say, no, I'm not uploading it because it makes me angry and he'll be like, why? But it's just one of those subjects where you just, I don't know, it, it makes you feel sick, doesn't it? Are you that's, talking to me? Yeah, that's where you say yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Thanks, mate. <laughs> oh shit! Talk about backup. <laughs> hey, you better add that. You better keep that. Oh yeah, I'm gonna keep that, that bro. Great. That was fucking great. <laughs> Hey, did you see the video at the end where he just like switches straight up back out of character? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's some crazy shit, that. The one thing that I just want to say, right, I've heard Kid Behind the Camera and I've heard uh, Angry Grandpa say this, right, and they've said, if you subscribe to Charlie Chill, I don't want you subscribing to me. The only reason I am still subscribed to Charlie Chill is to keep up to date with all the bullshit that he's talking about. Because I, I know for a fact that he's lying, right? But I'm not yeah. subscribed to him now because I like him. I'm subscribed to him now because I want to keep up to date with all the BS that he's coming out with. I just wanted to clear that up. I'm not watching him because I'm a fan anymore. I'm watching him because, you know, I want I want to hear what's going on. Yeah. You don't want to be left out when someone asks you a question. Yeah. What do you believe and what do you not believe, Wyatt? Do you believe that he smacked Bridget in the face? Well, I, like, I watched the video and she did have a black eye. Like, yeah. Her cheek was, was bruised. So, like, I don't know. Like, I mean, I don't know if it's it staged to make him look bad. But I kind of kind of believe it that he did, yes. Because he was on drugs. He was drinking and drugs and drinking more in a good combination. Yeah. So yes, I do believe that he smacked it. Yeah. What about you? I believe that he's punched her in the face because as soon as um, he follows her out of the um, out of the pool house, you can hear like the pain and the fear that she has in her voice. You know where she calls him a stank C U N T. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. and then all of a sudden he just comes out with hey didn't you F your cousin like someone that hasn't just like been really annoyed or you know done something that's got their adrenaline going they wouldn't come out with something like that so that's yeah. how I can tell that he's just done something that's like pumped his adrenaline to make him say something like that yeah that's something that wakes up that's not something you just can actually yeah this is another thing like when he was doing that video and he says um at the end of his video you know like after the apology that poor excuse for an apology um he says um you know I i'm i'm happy for everyone that sticks by me and then as soon as he says that he snaps out of the crying character and snaps back into the normal charlie chill and goes peace like he goes from Oh, yeah. Regret. Like he was putting it on the whole time. Yeah, I kind of think he's faking it because of how he acts. Yeah. Like at the end of the video, like during the videos, he's all sad and he wants people to feel sorry for his ass. Yeah. But at the end of it, he, he just snaps out of it and then he's perfectly fine. Like, the, like there's nothing wrong with him. Yeah. And I was watching um, Keemstar's interview with him and when Keemstar was asking him questions like what about you know your sisters saying about when they were younger and all that happened um and by the way if you're watching this and you don't know what i'm talking about right now um there's allegations that charlie held his sisters down whilst his friends i don't want to say the word because people might be a bit affected by it but 
He forced his his self upon her. Yeah. So I, I'm not sure. Like I don't want to believe it because that is just so sick. But at the same yeah, it's time, just, especially for it to be brother and sister, that's the word. Like that's just sick to their own blood. About Charlie giving his nephew the drugs and the alcohol. That was like. <laughs> That's on the same. That's in the same category as like, um, you know, like someone messing around with a child, and that is completely not okay with me. Like forcing a child to take drugs and alcohol, and then yeah. saying that you're gonna beat their ass if they if they don't do it or if they tell someone. Like that is disgusting. Oh yeah. Lying about the stuff that you did after you get caught. Yeah. That's the worst part. Like, be a man, man up, and come out and just say that you did it. I mean, it was way easier. Yeah, the in the video where they're confronting him, um, you can hear in his voice, it's not true, and he's like mumbling his words, you know, like he's really drunk. And like, yeah. you can tell from that point that something's in his system. Um, but basically, he's just a bit sick and deranged, and he, he needs help. I don't think that's enough for him. I honestly yeah. think he needs to go to prison. Yeah. Forcing himself on his sister, giving kids drugs. I think he needs to go to prison. Like, I don't think that rehab is going to cut it. I mean, yeah, you'll get help, but what about the punishment that you did that you need to get for all the other times that you've done shit? Especially yeah. to your sister, giving kids drugs. It's and forcing them not to talk about it. It's like, yeah, you you need you need to go to prison, buddy. Yeah, it's just very messed up. So, do you believe uh, him forcing uh, him holding down his sister? Well, watching Kim, like I know that people lie. You know when someone is lying by reading the face and their actions. Um, we used to do this thing in school where, because I wanted to be, you know, one of them people that sits in a courtroom, watches how someone reacts to a question and everything, and then they give the verdict. Yeah. We used to do this thing in school where we'd watch the movement of someone's eyes, uh, the stature and all that. And when Charlie is saying his apologies if you watch his eyes his eyes are wandering all over the place and he's like yeah. covering his mouth and that is a blat blatant sign of someone lying through the teeth uh, Charlie's sister comes out on video and says you know Charlie did this you can you see think, like, the the sheer fear in her eyes that, that, sh that that's happened she's bawling yeah. Like actual tears, and so like you know that that can be put on if you're crying that much. But there's yeah. no way that you can get that on. No. Charlie said in the Keemstar um, interview that he was messing with himself in the bath, and that when he was doing so, um, oh, I can't. Jennifer, that's her name. Jennifer walks into the bathroom. Uh, like smacks him on the on the top of the head, and like uh, you know, like when he when he says that, you know, like when someone's lying and then they try and make up something else to you know like cover the back to make them look like yeah. they're not lying. He then says that when she did so, she started smiling as if she was you know like uh, interested in doing something. Hang on. You're saying that your sister found you messing with yourself, like, straight away. But to then say that she looked interested as, as if, as if like, she wanted to do something. Oh, that makes me so sick to hear something like that. Like, why? Why would a family member want to do that with you? Like, I know that... Yeah, like, I know that, like, it might be from a type of place that's into that sort of stuff, but I can't get my head around people that are interested in that sort of stuff. You know why he said that, don't you? 
Uh -uh. Because he's trying to cover his tracks from his childhood, from helping oh, his friend okay, so to do something else. And now he's saying yeah. that from when he was a child, now his sister is, you know, like, he's actually helped his sister out with her sexuality. And, yeah. like, I can't get my head around how he can still call himself mentally stable. Because someone that says things like that is not mentally stable, I'm sorry. When I found out about Charlie doing that with his nephew, you was the first person I spoke to, and how sick did I tell you I felt? I couldn't talk on the mic because I felt that sick. I had to like lie down for a bit. Because I know people that have done drugs and alcohol in the past, but I've never known someone to do things that this guy has done. I don't think that prison is enough for Charlie. I think that he needs something that can teach him never to do it again. I don't think he deserves to get his life back on track so soon either. either. If you force somebody, then you should get forced. You know? Yeah. That's what I. That's what I believe in. So like, I honestly think that Charlie should get the same thing that he's done done to him. You know why he doesn't want to go to prison, don't you? Yep. Because what happens to people that rape people? Uh huh. Uh, but yeah, like how his eyes wandering, you can tell, like that he's not focused on like the actual apology. He, yeah, he's focused he's on lying. To... He's focused on making up a story, and when people do that, they can't control everything else that they're doing. Another thing is like how his Michael, how Michael takes it. Uh, I get that he's the bigger man, and like he don't want to start a fight. Or anything like that. Yeah. But if someone did that to my sister, especially if it was my brother, yeah, there'd be no way that like I'd let you walk away. There's no reason for you to be able to like when you be off scot free, because right now he's scot free. There's nothing wrong with him. There's nothing that he's doing besides rehab. But that ain't bad. Like like if you go to prison, it's gonna be way worse than rehab is. He deserves to go to prison. But the only reason he, he is saying that he isn't guilty is because he doesn't want to go to prison because he knows for a fact what will happen in prison. And that's why he's yes. keeping up the image of him being not guilty. Every video that I've watched, he says he's not guilty. But in all the, all the uh, kid behind the camera videos of the angry grandpa, Videos, yep. he's guilty. Everyone says he's guilty. He's a sick individual. That's why. That, that, that's what I have to say. Charlie, you need some help, buddy. You need like major fucking help. I think he shouldn't be allowed back near the the family. He shouldn't be allowed no, near the kids. He um, should honestly be registered as a pedophile honestly he should be registered as a sex offender um, pedophile and a sex offender because you forced like you forced a like when your sister was little so you'd be a pedophile then because how old you was yep and then a sex offender because you got for because you forced it so like, you should be a sex offender and a pedophile i also think you know like when you go to a place and you're registered as a sex offender and they say no I'm sorry I can't do this for you because you registered as a sex offender. Well yes. I think there should be a register for alcoholics and uh, druggies. Like if you go to a pharmacist yes. and yeah. you're trying to get something they say no I'm sorry you registered yeah. as this. And if you go to a shop they should say I can't sell you that because you registered as an alcoholic. So, for your or greater you're health, at a store. yeah, a store. Sorry, <laughs> um, if you if you go to get alcohol, the the you know the person behind the, the register, the till, uh, should say, "I'm sorry, but I can't sell this to you because you registered as an alcoholic." But they won't do that Let's because see. stores will lose money, and so you know people like Charlie are going to keep on doing what the, what they're doing right now. On the alcoholic thing, I get where you're coming from, but I also don't don't agree. Because say that like you, I like 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 say right now I'm an alcoholic. I drink every day. Like that's that's all I drink is alcohol. Mm -hmm. Okay, but I go and get help. 
Yeah. I've been sober for three years and I want to have a drink. Yeah. I go to a store and I can't have a drink because I'm registered as an alcoholic. So what do I do then? You know? No, no, no. Then you'll go out and do it illegal, like get it illegally. No, what I think is once you've been through the program and you know you're no longer you're no longer seen oh, as an actual yeah when you're not seen as an alcoholic anymore you should be what we had during the war uh was rations and you was allowed like a, an egg yes, a week yes, yes. i think that you alcoholic. should be you know on special occasions like birthdays and stuff um you should be allowed like a crate of beers like that's what i think should happen like they should keep yeah. a, a register of who who does who does like these who's things? In the system. Yeah. Like, like, because then there won't be. Like with the year system. And yeah. then, like after that year, you're out of the system. Then, then you can go buy alcohol. But until that year is up, you can't touch any alcohol in your drink. Yeah. That's what I. Think. Yeah. And it should be like probation. You, you're gonna wreck your probation if you do that. That's my thoughts anyway. I think they should have a register, just like the. Just like the, um, you know, the sex offenders register, I think that they should do that with alcohol. Uh, if you if you agree or disagree, let us know down in the comments uh, with anything that we've said. Um, you know, we like we like knowing the feedback on this type of stuff. And that first video that I put up saying that I feel sorry for Charlie for having his channel blocked. Now I know this. I know that it was a huge mistake to upload that video. Oh. And then, um, so now I know that you know it was it was a stupid idea to upload that before I even knew the information, and I just fell off the top of the roof. So now, <laughs> now I'm gonna say goodbye. So uh, yeah, cheers for watching, guys.